In this part of the circuit here, I've got a 1K resistor, that's a brown, black, red, and another 1K resistor. Over here, another 1K resistor, brown, black, red, and another 1K resistor. So going from, I've got two voltage dividers, going from 5 volts down to ground. So that should be 2.5 volts in between. Likewise, from 5 volts down to ground, should be 2.5 volts in between. So let's check it. Two point five one volts is close to two and a half volts. This one's showing two point five one looks like more like two point five one two, just a little bit different from the other. But I am really doubtful about the difference that I measure out here in this last digit of the measurement device. Are these really different? One way to find out, let's measure the difference between them. Because our DC voltmeter can measure the difference in DC voltage. So we see that there is actually a little bit of a difference between them out here in the third decimal place. If we wanted to know what that was a little better, we could switch down to the 2 volt scale, or even the 200 millivolt scale. And now we can see that it's about 2.8 millivolts is the difference between those two. But they should be the same. Where does the difference come from? Each of these resistors has a little gold band as the last band on it and that means that it could potentially have a, a variation from the marked resistance, a tolerance of up to 5%. Now in practice they'll be way closer than that, but they will still be different one resistor compared to the other. So we'll get small variations in voltage. We can measure those small differences in resistance by the small difference between those two voltage values. Although they're both about two and a half volts, they're different by just two or three parts in a thousand. And if I touch this resistor here, that changes the value. It starts to rise back up. Now I'll touch this one. And it's going in the opposite direction. The voltage is going up. What's happening there? Am I changing the electrical behavior of the circuit? Well, I don't think I'm touching any of the conductors. But I am warming up that resistor with my fingers. So let's take a look at what was going on in that circuit. We had one kilo ohm resistors, we had four of them, set up as two voltage dividers that would divide our five volt supply roughly in half, so that this would be 2.5 volts and this would be 2.5 volts. And yet when we measured the difference in between them, we found that that was about 2.78 millivolts. So we saw a very small difference in between those two because these were not exactly one kilo. And when we changed those resistances, this voltage here changed. So when we changed this resistance by, say, decreasing its resistance, then this voltage will go down. This will be a lower resistance than that. This will go from 2.5 down to a value a little bit below 2.5, while that one stays at 2.5. So the difference between them will change. Likewise, if we left this one the same and decreased this one, then this voltage here will become a little bit bigger and the difference between them will change. So this measurement in between 
provides us with an indication of very small changes in these resistances because it's measuring the difference between two voltages that are very close to the same. Now usually you'll see this picture drawn something like this with the resistances in this diamond shape pattern. Just about any time you see that diamond shape pattern you're looking at a system called a Wheatstone Bridge and it's a configuration that allows you to detect very small changes in resistance. So we put a supply voltage up here connect that to zero and then we measure the voltage across here. that measured voltage will be very small and it will be related to the degree to which these resistors don't balance each other out. So Wheatstone Bridge allows measurement of very small changes in resistance. Small changes in resistance. And that could be advantageous because there are a lot of things that change resistance with temperature or with the stress state that are on them. So for instance we can have temperature detectors that although the small resistance change will be very small, too small to measure just as a resistance, when we put it in a Wheatstone bridge we can measure that small change through that small voltage there.